learn about retirement of bills and what is the retirement of a bill when a bill is honored before the due date so when the drawee makes the payment before due date it is called as retirement of a bill and generally the drawee will make the payment before the due date only when he gets an incentive when the drawer is ready to give him some rebates or discounts only when the only then the drawer is going to only then the drawee is going to make the payment so let us see a problem here mr john sold goods on credit to mr jacob rupees 50000 on 1st april 21 so we have to write entries in the books of mr john and in the books of mr jacob so on 1st april 21 mr john is selling goods on credit to mr jacob so entry would be mr jacob account debit rupees 50000 to sales account in the books of mr jacob entry would be purchases account debit to mr john account so this is the entry he is going to pass in his books of accounts okay so john sold goods on credit to mr jacob entries have been passed on the same day he drew a bill on mr jacob for 3 months so on the same day what is happening mr john is drawing a bill on mr jacob for 3 months that means the duration of the bill is 3 months jacob can make the payment after 3 months and jacob accepted the bill and returned it to mr john so on the same day 1st april 21 when mr john is receiving the bill he will pass the entry bills receivable account debit to mr jacob account rupees 50000 Entry in the books of Mr. Jacob would be Mr. John account debit to bills payable. He has to make a payment on this bill. That is why he is going to call it as bills payable. The duration of the bill is for three months. Now what happens on fourth May two thousand twenty one? Mr. Jacob retired the bill and Mr. John allowed him a rebate of twelve percent per annum. Now when the bill was drawn on first April twenty one. it was for a duration of 3 months that means on 1st july plus 3 days of grace so the due date of the bill is 4th july 21 okay this is 3 months and this is 3 days okay so what is happening is on 4th may itself mr jacob is saying i have money i will make the payment now but mr jacob says i can make you the payment legally up to 4th july you have given me time up to 4th july but i am making the payment on 4th may give me some discount give me some benefit give me some rebate so mr john agrees for it so he gets some cash in return now he is going to get the bill honored he has to suffer a loss because he has agreed to give him some discount rebate account would be debited and the bill will be given back two bills receivable 50000 now the question is what is the discount mr john is going to allow to mr jacob which is called as rebate 50000 rupees is the value of the bill he agreed to give him a rebate at the rate of 12% per annum now the on the date when he is making the payment 4th may another 2 months time is left to make the payment so he is making the payment 2 months early so he will get rebate for 2 months so the amount would be Thousand rupees, so he's going to get a rebate of thousand rupees. Thousand rupees would be the rebate, and the balance he's going to receive in cash. So what's the formula I've used? I've used the formula bill amount multiplied by the rate of interest multiplied by unexpired period of the bill. On fourth May, two months remained, or two months was left in life of the bill. So the remaining period of the bill was two months. divided by 12 months in a year so this is how we have calculated the rebate so now what will be the books in entry in the books of mr jacob he is getting his bill back he is going to debit it now he has to discharge the liability that is why he is debiting it bills payable account will be debited with 50000 he is paying cash 49000 and he is getting some income that is why it is credited rebate account will be credited with 1000 rupees these both are credits rebate is nominal account incomes and gains for him credit he is paying cash real account going out credit and he is getting his bill back so this is how we record entries 
when there is retirement of a bill and the formula for calculating the rebate would be bill amount multiplied by the rate of interest multiplied by unexpired period that is the remaining life of the bill unexpired period of the bill divided by 12 or 365 if you put unexpired period in days then we have to use 365 if you put unexpired period in months then you have to take 12 as the denominator okay so this is how we record entries for honor of a bill before the due date which is called as retirement of a bill thank you